to Kofi Annan's larger family, starting with you, Your Excellency President Akufu Addo, and the people of his beloved Ghana, and extending to every corner of the globe. To the many members of the United Nations community who grieve the passing of one of our own. Since the shock of Kofi's death, I've been reflecting on what made him so special. And to my mind, it is simply this. Kofi Annan was both one of a kind and one of us. He was an exceptional global leader, and he was also someone virtually anyone in the world could see themselves in. Those on the far reaches of poverty, conflict and despair, who always found in him an ally. The junior UN staffer following in his footsteps. The young person to whom he said until his dying breath, and I quote, always remember, you are never too young to lead and we are never too old to learn. Like few in our time, Kofi Annan could bring people together, put them at ease and unite them towards a common goal for our common humanity. There is an old joke. The art of diplomacy is to say nothing, especially when you are speaking. Kofi Annan could say everything, sometimes without uttering a word. It came from the dignity and the moral conviction and the humanity that was so deep in him. He had that gentle voice, that lilt that made people smile and think of music. But his words were tough and wise, and sometimes the graver the situation, the lower that voice would get. We would lean in to listen, and the world would lean in, and we were rewarded by his wisdom. Kofi Annan was courageous, speaking truth to power, while subjecting himself to incense, to intense self-scrutiny. And like his predecessor, Dag Amarskjold, he had an almost mystical sense of the rule of the United Nations as a force for good in a world of ills. All of these added up to a remarkable record of achievement. He pioneered new ideas and initiatives, including the Millennium Development Goals, and the landmark reforms in his report, In Larger Freedom. He opened the doors of the United Nations, bringing the organization closer to the world's people and engaging new partners in protecting the environment, defending human rights, and combating HIV AIDS and other killer diseases. Kofi Annan was the United Nations, and the United Nations was him. Let us continue to heed that voice of grace and reason, the voice of morality and solidarity. Our world needs it more now than never. As we face the headwinds of our troubled and turbulent times, let us always be inspired by the legacy of Kofi Annan and guided by the knowledge that he will continue speaking to us, urging us on towards the goals to which he dedicated his life and truly moved our world. Thank you very much.